All right. Hello again, everybody. I'm going to take a break from uh, this hilarious uh, live stream that I was watching on YouTube. When uh, Whenever crazy Alex Jones is back on YouTube, it's fun to watch because the guy is so zany and crazy. He's on Tim Pool, uh, Tim Cast, IRL. So, yep, yeah. <laughs> that's entertaining. I'll probably watch the rest of the live stream if they're still going. And I'll uh, play it back if it's done. Whatever. It's not no big deal if I miss some content on YouTube. My life doesn't revolve around YouTube. But I thought I'd take a break from that and go over uh, how I how I update my audio drivers. Everybody does things a little different. So I'm going to show how I did it. There's a new audio driver out for my my boards on board audio my uh my real tech chip so let's do it um so first i go to uh morons r us aka msi's website there's my motherboard uh they should have this bios updated soon with the uh zen 3 support that should be coming up so with the new Agisa code. So I got this one and I got my latest BIOS and stuff. I got this months ago. After skipping some that weren't, I didn't really need them. So uh, this one I got because I probably saw something in the change log that I was like, hey, I want that. So yeah, I got the latest, but <laughs> Zen 3 support. Don't know if I'll need it. I'll see what else it brings to the table, but probably won't need that. But anyway, go to drivers. And I need check to see what they have every once in a while i don't like to get this this version numbers later than the uh b450 chipset version on amd's website but i prefer to get that from amd because i don't know i just trust amd more than msi site i've had msi have uh the wrong package you know say what it is here and have the wrong package for download here more than once so there's definitely some idiots working there. Surprise. Uh, so that's if you got integrated. Uh, it's got, if you got an APU, uh, some LAN drivers, uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. I, usually you could get the, you could get updated versions of these from here, or you could get them from Windows Update, or you could get them from Intel side or Realtek or whatever. But mine are all up to date. So. Anyway, onboard audio drivers. There's the latest version uh, that they have to offer. So I download that package and I'll skip the audio driver sometimes. I, I like to see <laughs> if the audio driver enhances the, uh, if it makes the acoustic echo cancellation more effective. That's like the primary reason why I like my ALC 1220 audio is because it does a pretty decent job at uh, acoustic echo cancellation. So I don't have to wear a stupid headset. I hate having things around my head. So that's like my main thing. So I always try to get the latest to see if they've optimized this, optimized it more. So it doesn't really hurt me to get the latest. It did hurt me once. There was one version. And if you watch my videos, I forget how far back it was, but I, I was complaining about the, uh, the mic and the audio, everything was bad with the one version of uh, the Realtek driver. And that was, that went away with other versions. So yeah, I downloaded this and I like to name my download with the version instead of having their stupid name. So let's go to where I downloaded it to. So I have, uh, yeah, here's the latest version right here. And one thing I checked to see I don't like install, installing the Nehemic software, but the Nehemic driver components, I will have them installed uh, because I'm not 100% sure if uh, there's like a software component from the Realtek driver or the Nehemic components uh, processing the uh, acoustic echo cancellation. So, you know, get them all up to date. So yeah, here's the latest driver package, uh, uh, 9071. And I like to go to the NAMIC to see the latest APO driver. Now this, you can't extract this and get driver files out of this. If you want to install this, 
you have to uh, run this executable, which the problem why I don't like to run this executable is it will install Nehemic. And I mean, I will if I have to, and then I'll uninstall Nehemic. I just want to get the uh, drivers thrown into the system, you know, into System32 and stuff. But if I don't have to, I won't. So what I'll do is I'll run this Nehemic companion that gets on your computer. And of course, it runs a startup. I turn that right off. But I keep this shortcut handy in case I want to run it. And I check the uh, software component driver version right here. And I'm pretty sure if my driver version is not up to date, I never click this. I don't want, I don't want the Himic on my computer. I don't need it. I don't want the glorified uh, equalizer that is the Himic on my computer. It's, just, it's been more trouble than it's worth. I know some people like it. Um, I don't. It's a whole lot of nothing to me. So I just run this companion to uh, get this software component up to date. So uh, and yeah, if it doesn't look like this is updating it, I'll I'll install it and then uninstall. It. I just want the drivers out of it. So that's the way I do that. Turn this off. So yeah, this was my last driver package, and you know the APO driver was 3.1. So yeah, that hasn't changed. The latest one is still 3.1. So I'm good with that. So let's go to uh, <clears throat> let's go to device manager and start. Um, <laughs> updating audio drivers. Let's go to device manager and let's go to my Realtek. Here it is, Realtek audio. So I should have uh, 9049 in there. Let's uh, let's go to update driver. No, 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 no. Let's let's see. Let's confirm that I have that version in there. Yeah, 9049 is in there. So we're going to swap that out for 9071. Um, because I don't want to run the executable that installs the driver. They always screw something up. As long, If I can update the driver through Device Manager and just get the drivers without any extracurricular shit, don't install the Himic, don't install this, don't overwrite my... Uh, my my uh, real tech console leave all that alone give me the new driver that's all i want so that's why i do it this way most of the time so update the driver i'm going to browse my computer for drivers i'm going to include subfolders i have my path to my audio folder it's going to find it so do that All right. All right, it's telling me it wants this. Do you want to restart your computer now? No, I don't want to restart my computer now. So let's go back to properties. And we got 9071 in here. When I restart, it should be, uh, well, when I restart, I'll test it out, make sure there's no issues or anything like that. Mm, look at that. Yeah, like, nerds love that. Very up-to-date dates. Driver dates. The other one was in October. This one's up to November. Hopefully it's, uh, I mean, usually the sounds, like I said, except for that one driver, the sounds usually fine. They tweak it sometimes with bass and treble and stuff. I'm talking about the defaults, you not changing anything and editing anything, you know, just the way the driver is. But for the most part, it always sounds good. I just do it to see if there's enhancements to acoustic echo cancellation. I want that to be more and more optimized and work better and better and better. Um, so that's why I do that. So, all right, that's ready to go. But no, don't restart the computer. Um, I also suggest you update your software components, your audio software components. So the uh, Avalute, that's the dynamic trash. I'm going to update that driver too. If there's anything in there worth grabbing, let's, let's see. Okay. There's, there's no update beyond 3.1 for that one, apparently. Uh, 
I think these three down here are going to find uh, updated drivers like this. Like this, this is what I mean. I'm not sure if if uh, the uh, I don't know enough about uh, uh, integrated audio to know if the uh, Nahimic is uh, uh, taking care of that acoustic echo cancellation function or the real tech audio effects, you know, audio enhancements. Who's doing it? Don't know, so I update everything. I'm sure these generics don't need to be updated, but I'm just going to go through them anyway just to cure my OCD. Update driver. All right. Now these components down here, these real tech components, they're going to find the new stuff, I'm sure. Let me see what version this one is. This is... Uh, uh, 11 some some big ass number so let's go here update driver browse my computer all right so that component found something new the uh, universe uh, real tech audio universal service this will also find something new in in there all right and <laughs> real tech hardware support application. Oh man, I need some more. This should also find something new in that directory. All right, so it did. So I've updated this guy and these three hardware components. And I didn't have to update this one because I got the latest already, which is should be 3.1. Yeah, there you go, 3.1. So that's good to go. So I just got to restart the computer and test everything. Um, one thing to look out for is when the uh, <clears throat> when the driver. Well, I mean, when, when I a lot of times when I update the driver, it will take my audio, my speakers, bring it down to sixty six percent. I'll bump that back up to one hundred. And the most annoying thing is, it will. Turn off my acoustic echo cancellation. See, it's off right now. But by default, I like to have that have that on. Uh, but I'm I'm, it, I'm gonna turn that back on after I reboot because that's that's really what you want to do. You want to test everything. Uh, this still says 9049. This is still using the, the old driver. So when I reboot, this should be uh, have the latest and greatest and. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it. I'm sure everything's going to go fine. I'll leave it in the comments if anything weird happens. But when I reboot, this will be up to what the new version was, which is uh, 9071. And I'll uh, I'll uh, turn back on acoustic echo cancellation. Make sure it's working because it's been broken in some drivers. I'll make sure it's broken. I mean, working. So I'll just make sure I don't have to roll back. But they've been doing a good job except for that one version. Everything's been fine, so yeah, that's how I do it. I'm gonna reboot, um, test test the driver out, um, test the acoustic echo cancellation, and hopefully the latest version makes things work a little bit better. Thanks for watching a boring video of somebody updating some audio drivers. See you in the next video.